there everybody, Victoria Lampini here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a simple waterfall with particles in Maya 2018. Okay, first off, we need an object to emit the particles from. This will make things easier when choosing how fast the water will go. So we'll start out with this cube here. Make it a little wide, or whatever shape you want your waterfall to be. And then, we go up to here and choose the FX tab. We go to particles. And then, we go to Emit from Object, and uh, let's see here, let's bring the frames up to 400 frames, so that we can see it more. And here, you can see that these things are bubbly and blobby. Now, in order to fix it, you see it's going on the edges like that, well, there's a way to fix this first, though, we want to get rid of the other sides of the cube, because we only need one little panel to emit the, uh, particles. So, first, we will go to particles, is that, yes, that's right. And we go up here to the top in the attribute editor and click on emitter. Now we go to basic emitter attributes and emitter type. And now we want to change this from Omni to surface. And that will cause the particles to emit from that one side of the panel. Now these aren't exactly a good type of particle to use. Although it is visible in the software version, there is a better thing that we can do for a waterfall. So, we'll go to Particle Shape, we go down here to Shading, and we're going to change this from Blobby Surface to Tube. And that will cause it to emit these strange little blobs. Now what we want to do is we want to make this look a little more like the shape of drops in a waterfall. So what we're going to do is we're going to increase the tail size and we're going to lessen the radius. Make it a little higher right there. Make it a little thin here. And now it seems like the water is particles are streaking down like drops in a waterfall. Now another thing is it seems to be lasting for quite a long time. So let's move the emitter polygon up a bit. See how it's moving down like that? It's going down really really far. And right now we don't exactly want that because we want to be able to see this in the screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to end particle shape 1, go to lifespan, and instead of live forever, we're going to go to random range. And on random range, we're going to have to change the lifespan depending on how far we want the waterfall to fall. So we're going to lifespan. And let's try five, let's see how that does. That seems a little too far, so let's instead do 4.5. There we go. That looks quite a lot better, doesn't it? Well, let's nudge it down just a little bit less. Now, 
In order to make it look more fun, what we can do is we can go to the emitter tab, we can go to base computer attributes, and rate particle seconds so we've got 100 particles per second. Let's botch that up all the way up to 500 and see what it does. Yeah, that definitely looks a lot more full, doesn't it? Well, you notice it, it's kind of spread out a bit, isn't it? Let's watch that up to 600. So what we can do... Now, as you can see from here, the waterfall seems to be going down pretty uh, straight down. Now, if you don't want that, what you could do to fix this to make it look a little more, uh, make it look a little more forward facing, you can go up here to speed and basic emission speed attributes, and you can bump up speed and normal speed, and that will cause the waterfall to go further forward. Let's bump that down shorter a bit. Now let's see how it works for this. Yeah, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? See, there's still some things on the edge right there. That's a little bit minor though. This is basically a basic waterfall, so no. What else we can do? Oh, let's bump that up a bit more. Because we want to make it look like a nice full waterfall. Let's make the uh, the tail size a little bit shorter. We can increase the radius of that as well, just a little bit. There's a lot of modifications you could do to make it look better. Now let's see. It's really okay for you to use a lot of particles on this. It doesn't take that much. Uh, doesn't take that much graphic power. Now let's try and modify the color. What we can do is we can go back to shading, and uh, we can go change it from age to normalized age. And we could change the color over here to a dark blue here, and lighter there. And we could add more variety to it like that. to randomize the colors a bit, we can go here to color randomize, and then make it a little more random in color, to make it seem more like that. Now as you can probably tell, this waterfall is going a bit slow. Now. Keep in mind that the bigger the waterfall, the slower the water goes, but there's actually a way to make this go faster, but it takes a little bit of uh, adjustment. What we could do is we can go over to Nucleus, 
and you can increase the amount of gravity and gravity in any file. And that will cause the waterfall to go faster. But it also makes it go by longer. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go back to particle shape and decrease the lifespan. Whoops. there's white on the bottom because that's where it uh, crashes down. The phone still seems to move on to the sides a bit. I guess that's uh, kind of minor, so let's make this a little more you know something we could do to fix this so we can increase the uh, speed again Let's see how this does. Well, I guess that makes it a little better. Now one thing that we know about waterfalls is that uh, when it hits the ground it uh, gets all foamy and uh, splashes on the bottom. So what we're going to do for that is we're going to create a plane like this. And to bump down the, uh, the poly count, let us reverse, sharp, let's sharpen it out a bit. Okay, now what we can do is that we have this plane selected. Let's go to FX again, and we go to N cloth. I know that seems kind of confusing since we're not dealing with any cloths, but this actually works pretty well. What you can do is you select the plane and click on create passive collider and that will cause a waterfall to collide with that plane as you can see the bubbliness isn't really all that noticeable so what we could do for that is that we could select the uh, no, where is it? Oh yeah, particle shape one, and we go over to collisions, and this right here we have bounce, and we bump that up. And we'll see how it works for that. Okay, what we could do for that, to fix it's not really bumping up that much, so what we can do is, we can go up to lifespan again, or we could go to nucleus if you want to make it faster and bump up the gravity again to make it go down further and to make it go faster. And now you can see it's kind of collecting onto that space. And uh, let's make it bounce a little bit more. Okay, there it goes. But 
doesn't seem to be lasting long enough, so that's uh, something else you can do to make it last longer, of course, is to go to lifespan and bump up the lifespan. As you can see, it's collecting onto that space. It's bouncing. And it's leaving a foamy path in its wake. Now, of course, if you still want to make it keep looking more, if you still want to make more water, you can either bump up the rate particle size, or you can increase the size of the. Uh, Particles, but then again, these on the edge might look a little bit, might make it a little weird. looks like a pretty good basic waterfall and a cool thing about it is for those of you who don't have really much of a graphics card you should be thankful to know that it is visible in the Maya software render this might need a little bit more articles It's pretty good, isn't it? Uh, let's bump it up a bit more in size. Increase the opacity a bit too. Sure. There we go! Well, that's looking like a cool looking waterfall. And there you have it. There's a very special and simple way to make a waterfall in Maya 2018. I hope that you found this useful. Uh, enjoy making animations in Maya.